I'm Ming Shi. I'm a digital artist, designer based in LA. I spent past six years working on films, TV shows, commercials, game cinematics, mostly on um, main title sequences. In 2022, I work as a designer with the team at Elastic on the HBO show The Last of Us for its main title sequences. And it won the 75 Emmy Award for the outstanding main title sequence. So I study fine art when I was pretty young, like just sketching and drawing paintings. When I was in high school, I fell in love with film and I attended film school when I was in college, majoring in production design. And later, back in 2015, I moved to the States and uh, studied digital art and animation. I also started 2D frame by frame animation before 3D digital uh, program. So my journey through art always pivoting and evolving uh, through different media. My inspiration actually come from books, reading a lot. I like to read novels and sometimes psychiatry books and even philosophy books. Because uh, I feel when I get inspiration from reading from the book, I'm not limited from just the visual. For example, if I only use other artists' work as a visual reference or inspiration, sometimes sometimes it kind of limit my imagination and kind of limit my um, exploration through the lens of my own perspective. So I tend to focus more on runners, which is like through the language. One day I went to a bookstore in Beijing, China. Uh, I found a book that really stand out to me and it's kind of the introduction to ZBrush. When I decided to study and move into uh, America and when I kind of prepared my, all my luggage, I actually bring this book with me and this book stay still in, with my book on my bookshelf now. Um, so it's the kind of this uh, like magic relationship between me and ZBrush started very early and then it kind of stopped a little bit. I got scared in uh, USC. I kind of pick it, pick it up back again after five years. I started to self-learn ZBrush and then by watching all the tutorials uh, on YouTube created by all the amazing ZBrush artists, digital artists. And then at that time, I finally kind of introduced ZBrush to my professional industrial work and now uh, I almost use the brush every every time for every, every commercial project and all my personal project. When I first saw the news about the ZBrush iPad, I was really excited because it means productivity to me a lot because um, my job sometimes requires me to travel internationally on airplane or to anywhere and I hate commute so much because I, I, I could waste like 12 hours just trying to go to another country. But when I saw the brush iPad is coming, I thought, okay, I have, I have finally I have something to do. So I'm really excited. We are human beings. We need like new stimulus, right? And then when I bring the iPad outside to see the nature more and I can get inspired more and I can uh, draw and sketch instantly. So it's, it's huge. <laughs> I love challenge. Life is made of challenge. If everything has, I have to follow everything the same path. I I feel the life is so bored. Pushing the boundary is not like I have to. I have to force myself to do it. It just comes very naturally. So when it comes to arts, it's also very naturally too. So I always spend a lot of time trying to think. Oh, what is the new medium and what is the new voice I want to present?